What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a checkout page that looks similar to the Shopify checkout page. Now this is a checkout page that we're going to be creating here. Now as you can tell it looks very clean. Now if you do like how this looks go ahead and stick around and I'll be showing you guys how to build this. Let's begin. The first thing that you're going to need to do is head over to your dashboard and we're going to just want to install a plugin. So go ahead and click on plugins and click on add new. And then just go ahead and search for WooCommerce blocks. And you're going to want to install the second plugin that's right here. So go ahead and install it and then activate it. Click activate. And then what you're going to do is head over to your pages and we're just going to want to edit our checkout page. So go ahead and click on edit on your checkout page. And you're going to see a short code. So what we need to do is just delete the short code. So go ahead and click on these three dots. It just gives you more options and then click on remove block. Now we just need to add a new block. So go ahead and click on this plus icon and and then go ahead and just scroll down and then you're going to see a section that says WooCommerce. Go ahead and click on WooCommerce. And now we just need to find a block that says checkout. And it's going to be this one right here. So go ahead and click on this block that says checkout. And now you're going to see that we have a checkout. Now we just need to customize this a bit and this is just optional. You don't have to do this. So if you want to include a, a uh, company name, you can go ahead and include that. But most e-commerce websites don't include a company. You can uh, also remove the phone number as well. You can remove the apartments, um, but that's completely up to you. And then you can make the phone number required. That's something that you want to do. You can also hide um, the policies down here. You can go ahead and hide that as well if you wanted to have your private policy. And this will usually pull from your privacy page that you've set up with WordPress. And then we can also uh, uncheck this, which would also just remove the return to cart. And those are just some settings right there. Now, what I'm going to do from here is I'm just going to go ahead and click update. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to my website. And then I'm going to go and check out my checkout page. And as you can tell, now we have a checkout page that looks really cool. And it actually looks sort of like, like Shopify, which is pretty amazing, right? Um, and I'm just really excited to see what people are going to do with this. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you did find this helpful, please make sure to subscribe and like the video. It will help the channel out a lot. And if you guys do have any questions on this checkout, please go ahead and comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.